Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's lesson is creation of bill of material bomb in SAP. So this comes under production planning and it's a master data. So I will explain a concept of bill of material using this simple example. This is actually this is kind of bomb. We have CPU assembled computer in our home, in our office. So to create this one, we need these four items mainly. The first one is CPU, second one is monitor, third keyboard and a mouse. By combining all these components, we create a desktop computer. So in technical words, this is our finished good and these are our components. So, but this also can be a kind of finished good. It means this create from a separate set of component. So if, if we need, we can get a bomb for this one as well. Okay. Now we move to the example uh, that I'm going to explain today. So I have a finished good called 12 kg water pump. This is the code. I assume to create this water pump, we need two components, two main components. First one is pump case. Second one is engine of the pump. So by assembling these two component, I create this finished good. So I'm going to develop this in SAP. We have bomb creation T code. It's CS01. And here we have to give our finished good material. And my finished good material is ZFG01. So it's correct. Now we have to select a select a plant. Okay. So my plant is this one. And the most important thing is bomb usage. We have a lot of bomb usage in SAP. If we are using this bomb to create plan orders, production orders, or process orders, then we should select production. So if this is only relevant to plant maintenance, it's four. And if we if we if you use this for sales and distribution, like uh, some kind of in sales order, you can get this bomb. It's sales and distribution bomb, and it's just, it's five. If it's only relevant to costing, you want to see the manufacturing uh, cost of some finished good. Then you can see use this costing bomb usage type is six so here I use usage one and most important date is valid date normally it will take system will take today's date but if you need you can change it most important thing is bomb is valid only from this date it means today is 30th April 30th if you, if you create a production order uh, before this day, then it will not trigger this bomb because it's valid from 30th, 30th April. So I press enter. Okay. Now I am inside the bomb creation window. Now I have to give the components. My first component is this one. And here, yeah. press it. And that my item category is normally if it's a stock item, we supposed to enter L. So if it's an unstock item, you can give N. Likewise, there are multiple item categories. I'm not going to explain all these things here because it's a different topic. So here you need to give the quantity. So I give 10. It means I'm going to create this bomb for creation of 12 kg pump 10 pieces the next item is this one and I give the quantity again 10 and I press enter and it will fill all the data now I select this header icon cap icon now I am inside the header data here the base quantity is 1 my base quantity should be 10 because in item window I have given 10 from each piece. You can enter any number to here 
but when you create the production order it will proportionate according to your base quantity in power right bomb status this field is also important one here you can make this active inactive and active is history requirement there are three options okay that's it now i again go to item overview when i'm in in the item if i double click this quantity it will go inside that relevant component here i will only explain most important things okay what is this recursive allowed indicator it means if your both header component this is your header and your item component is same it means if you are using this header component as a item we have to take this that means bomb is recursive if it's a core product you can take this as well now the important thing another important thing is cost relevancy so x means it's relevant 100% to the costing we can make 75 25 50 not not relevant costing and if i make this not relevant to costing so when you run the cost estimate for this finish good it will not take the cost of this component so i will show you one example this is the cost estimate for this material and here for each item we have a cost if you remove that cost relevancy it will make like this it will become zero so for the total cost system will not pick the cost relevant to that component okay, okay. now i have created the bomb and i have entered all the relevant data now i'm going to save it now the bomb is created easy way of creating a bomb so uh, by copying a bomb that's the second thing go to the same t code and you enter the finish code that you want to create a bomb so you can click copy on again and here you can give the copy from material see we can change which alternative you need to copy let's say one okay so i press like this now i'm inside it's asking which component should i get from this selected bomb so i select i only need this one if you need both we can highlight both the item I need only need one and I select this copy item. See now which copy now if you need you can do any change or you can just save it. That's the easy way to create a bomb if you have uh, bombs are similar bombs existing in your system. Okay, let me explain one more important thing. Now I go to bomb change window, it's CS02, and I press this one this is my bomb see this one this assembly in indicator means for this component you have a separate bomb that's why this tick is there now the third part of this video how to create the alternative bomb I go to the same transaction i have already created one bomb for this one i enter the same material again and press enter so it says alternative bomb to add okay again i enter one component say okay one and i press enter in there and save I go to CS02 and I give my material and I press enter. See, it has two bombs one, two. 
here to identify these two bombs easily you can give this alternative text to give that one you can do this in when you creating the bomb as well so because i didn't i go to inside the bomb i go to header and here alternative bomb i say bomb one right okay now again i go inside see alternative text is appeared that's it guys please subscribe my youtube channel thank you for watching this video